Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Well, this morning we're camped out here at Caprock Canyon State Park. Beautiful place. You must come see this Texas State Park, as well as the official state bison herd that is re residing here. But we're done here. You'll have to check out the other videos that I posted about Caprock Canyon State Park. For today's journey, we're continuing east over towards Wichita Falls and a little state park called Lake Arrowhead State Park. So come along with us as we go visit Lake Arrowhead State Park and see what there is to see. Hey, let's go see some stuff. Lake Arrowhead State Park. It took us about four hours of driving. Now all of the sites at Lake Arrowhead State Park are all the RV sites. There are a bunch of loops, flower sites. Right, we're in site number 46. As you can see, we've got some shade on one side. It looks like there used to be prairie dogs living here very flat site asphalt pad water 30 50 20 no sewer but that's all right they have a dump station the lake is just right out there so it's not too far to walk they have a fire pit barbecue combo a patio cover over an aluminum table no lantern hook another prairie dog hole there you got to watch your step and then there's a, another prairie dog two prairie dog holes here but these are these are vacant we can tell by all the cobwebs so maybe the prairie dogs were relocated Uh, gonna go grab a bite for lunch hop on the scooter and we'll go see some stuff stay tuned more to come well one of the hallmarks of Lake Arrowhead State Park is 
the opportunity to fish and unlike Caprock Canyon State Park where we just came from the fishing pier actually extends out into the water <laughs> you have to go back and watch the Caprock Canyon video to know what I'm talking about all right we got a marina over there as well we'll cruise over that way and check it out not only is it a, a marina it's also for fishing because it says right there no swimming near fishing pier and maximum of two poles per person what do we have over here Be careful not to run off the cliff Hi. Great. How are y'all doing? That is a playground. So if you've got antsy kids, you can bring them down here if it's too cold to swim and let them play and swing and slide. And while they're playing, dad can be sitting right over here for catching fish. Well, as hot as it is right now, I'm almost inclined to go swim at my own risk here at the day use area, Lake Arrowhead State Park. Hard to believe it's October and it's as hot as it is. Almost makes me wish I was back up on Cheyenne Mountain State Park where it was cool. Let's go see some more stuff. All right, I've come around to the other side of the cove past the boat ramp which is over there you can see this is a two ramper boat ramp and another playground area lots of picnic tables pardon I you were saying no i have a youtube channel and i'm producing videos duderv.com okay. well there you are there's your boat ramp Now I noticed earlier when I was scooting around that uh, there, there's a lot of people cleaning fish. So apparently there's some fish biting. All right, we're gonna scoot on around to the other day use area. There's supposed to be a prey dog town here somewhere. I'll go see if I can find that. Well, this is supposedly the site of the prairie dog town but it looks to be abandoned I don't see any prairie dogs I don't see any indication that their dens are active kind of like the ones over in camp see the way it's grown over Wonder if something has, some predator has cleaned them out. You see, they're all abandoned. Nobody home. They left town. That's too bad. So don't get excited about seeing prairie dogs. Ain't none here. Well, I've made it back out to the equestrian. I've made it out here to the equestrian camping area. Nice little camping place for you and your horses. Now the, there's also a disc golf course. Go heads everywhere. So there's 18 holes. Right now we're we're right here. All right. 
I don't know much about disc golf, so I don't know if it's a good course or a bad course. Anyway, not a whole lot of stuff here to see. I'll, I'll do what I can to find us some more. Lake Arrowhead State Park is one of those state parks that actually has a firewood vending station. And I would imagine that if there's a burn ban in place, it does not work. It looks like they're all out of small bags of firewood. Well, I have found another point of interest here at Lake Arrowhead State Park. I don't know how much of an interest it would be unless you're camping like in 19 through 24 water and electric sites right over here. Cause you see there's pump jack. Pumping crude up out of the ground is not quiet. I know those people hear it all night long. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Man, it's hot. It's hard to believe it's 5th of October, 2019, and it's still 95, 96 degrees and humid. Humid, I tell you, it's humid. I pretty well have hit the highlights of Lake Arrowhead State Park. It is a boater's park. Eight boat ramps, eight-lane boat ramp tells you all you need to know right there it's a good place for a stopover if you're traveling up in the Texas Panhandle I would not set it as a destination unless you're a boater then it might be worth your while to come and and check it out uh, there's just not a whole lot going on there's a couple of hiking trails that look like they might be smooth enough from for little red but frankly i'm just i'm whooped from all the driving that we've done over the last 12 days uh, so and and with the power issue i'm just gonna sit here the rest of the afternoon uh we're gonna eat a i'm gonna eat a ribeye the the end of trip ribeye if anything else comes up between now and tomorrow morning I'll be back. You know, I'm really wondering about the, the prairie dog situation. Is that, is that big pile of dirt right there? That's a prairie dog mound. And there's also, there's another prairie dog mound under the, the patio table here. And there's quite a few of these prairie dog holes throughout the this part of the camping loop there's no prairie dogs and the holes are they look like they've been vacant for maybe six months hasn't been too very long so just just wonder what has happened to all the prairie dogs if if someone someone's watching this if you got an answer i'd sure appreciate you posting a comment down there and 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 solving the mystery of the missing prairie dogs all right back to being a vegetable.
Good morning. Well, here we are. The last morning of the trip. Got a beautiful sunrise in the making. It's gonna be another hot day. October 7, Wichita Falls, Lake Arrowhead State Park. Beautiful sunrise. This is our last sunrise for this journey. We're gonna load up and drive another three hours home and then go to work editing. Hey, if you found our visit to Lake Arrowhead State Park interesting and enjoyable, although there wasn't a whole lot of activity going on here, but anyway, click on that thumbs up, share us on social media, and if this is your first visit to Dude RV, please click on the subscribe button, and most important, remember to click on that bell. For those of you who are already subscribed, and have been riding along, I certainly do appreciate it. You're why I do what I do. We've got another journey scheduled for later on in the year. Meanwhile, thank you so much. I'm deeply honored. Y'all come back now, you hear?